Straight like that, man. So look, I was on my Instagram and I was scrolling through my DMs. I find a situation that a subscriber was going through where he said that he was crushing on his girl for like a cool six or seven months or whatever the case may be. And he finally shot his shot after six long months. Six long months. That is a long time. Shot his shot and got her number. So after he got the number, he was telling me, you know, he sent a message to her. You know what I mean? Trying to kick game, trying to set up a link, all this. But he got left on delivered for hours and hours. And he was telling me, yo, Cam, what do I do after I get left on delivered? And I told him what to do, man. I told him straight up, do nothing. See, I get this so many times. Cam, what do I do when a girl leave me on delivered? What do I do? Bro, let me tell y'all the secret sauce, bro. When you get left on delivered, bro, do absolutely nothing. Don't double text her, bro. Let me tell you something about messages real quick, bro. When you send somebody a message, whether it's your homie or a female, bro, they seen the message. They're not that busy. Let me tell you something about the average person. The average person ain't that busy to where all day they ain't looked at their phone. If a female ever tell you, oh, I wasn't looking at my phone all day, I'm telling you that's cap. Bro, you ever been around women before? They on their phone 24 7. They love social media, constantly posting on her stories, constantly posting on her Snapchat. Her Instagram, the Facebook. Bro, she always on social media. You think she just happened to miss your message? No, bro. She seen it pop up in the notification center. She chose not to answer it, dog. She chose not to answer it. So I told bro, look, it's nothing that you could do, man. The unfortunate sad truth about getting left undelivered is that just means that you got to take your loss on the chin and keep it pushing, man. You just have to because any woman that is actually interested in you is never going to do that. She not going to leave you on deliver for hours. She going to see your name pop up and she probably going to wait a few minutes and ask her homegirls what she would respond with. And then she going to respond. She going to respond probably within an hour or two. But you're not going to be going whole days, two days being left on delivered. And see, the problem is that a lot of y'all, when you get left on delivered, you don't take this advice, bro. What you will do. And I know because I've been in this situation before. Instead of just taking the L on the chin, you don't know how to let things go. Instead, you will push further. So you send another text. You double texting now. You double texting. You see her at school. Hey, what's up? Did you see my message? You ask, You see her at work. Yo, so did you see my message? I said this, this, and that. And she's just giving you the runaround, bro. She's giving you the runaround. She's telling you, oh, yeah, I was busy. Oh, yeah, I was asleep. I was this. I was that. Let me tell you something right now. She was at Tyrone House getting her guts dug out. That's where she was. That's what she was doing, bro. And I know that hurts to hear, bro. But the truth is, you got to learn how to take that L. It's nothing that you could do when you get left on the liver or left on red, bro. It's nothing that you could do besides level up. When you level up in life, that's when she going to finally text you back, man. But in order to fully grasp what you should do after getting left on delivered, which is nothing. In order to fully grasp why I say this, we have to go into why you got left on delivered in the first place, right? So in the situation I told you about this subscriber, he, first of all, he waited six months before he actually made a move. Fellas, never do that, bro. See, you got to understand that women are able to read energies, especially off of a dude mad quick. We're not good at hiding it. Us dudes, we're not good at hiding who we like, bro. We wear our heart on the sleeves. As much as you want to think, oh, my crush don't know. Bro, she knows. She knows because every time you talk to her, you stutter, you, you stutter in your words just like that, bro. Every time you get around her, you, you start moving mad nervously and fidgeting, bro. You, oh, man, oh, you touching your neck, the back of your head, biting your nails. She notices these small little things. She notices these nervous movements when you get around her, bro. You got to understand that she knows that you like her. She knows that all she got to do is talk to you and she'll move you right off your masculine frame. But now you off your rocker. You know what I'm saying? You you moved off your masculine frame because a female is talking to you. You feel me? As soon as an attractive girl talks to you, you lose your mind, bro. You got to learn how to calm down and relax, dog. But I promise you right now, I bet you any kind of money guarantee you. I'm speaking to you right now, dog. Your crush, the girl you like, the girl you want to speak game to, knows you like her. Knows you like her, bruh. Knows you feel some type of way because those little subtle things that you do, bruh, she picks up on them. I'm telling you right now, those little hints that you try to give out, she knows. She knows their hints. She's just not responding to them because she don't freak with you like that. She don't freak with you like that, dog. She not messing with you that tough, bruh. So when you're not getting the hint that she's avoiding you and she's ignoring you, now you do that goofy-ish. So 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 you've been trying to put out hints and trying to 
You've been crushing on her for the longest time, and now you ask for her number. Fellas, let me tell you something right now. A lot of dudes be mad excited. They think they got mad ribs because they can get a girl number. You think you got mad ribs because you can get a girl Instagram, a Snapchat, or her social media. Let me tell you something right now. The lamest dude in the world can get a chick's social media. Lamest dude in the world can get a girl response, bro. I don't measure off of, like, look, stop measuring uh, off of how many numbers you could get, bruh. Measure off how many responses you get and not just how many responses you get. How are they responding? Are you linking up with these chicks? See, because anybody can get a girl's number. You with no game can have a girl. You can get a girl number right now. That don't mean she going to respond to you, bruh. So, and, and see, don't be upset. The problem with dudes is that y'all be getting upset when a girl don't respond to you. She don't owe you no response. She don't owe you nothing. She don't owe you nothing. In fact, bro, it's a ruthless world out here, dog. She got 10 other dudes she want to text besides you. Besides you, bro. You pop up on her phone and she start rolling her eyes. She don't ever want to text you. She don't want to see your name. She don't want to be around you. You got to understand that that's just the dating game, bro. And they'll give you the number. And, and, and the thing is, the reason why they gave you the number in the first place is not because she was feeling you. It's because she saw that you would give potential validation and compliments and an ego. You, she, she basically changed your contact name to Ego Booster. That's your new name. Whatever your name is, Josh, bro, your name is now Ego Booster. That's what you have become. And see, the reason you're even in this position may not even necessarily be because you don't look good. It's a lot of attractive dudes that get put in the, the uh, left on delivered zone, the friend zone, because the way that you come across, the way that you carry yourself, the way that you act around her is all important. You got to understand, you got to understand, bro. Perception is everything. Impressions on people is everything, bro. If she perceives you as a non-confident feminine type dude, then she ain't giving you no play, bro. She, it don't matter. You can look like the, the 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 most handsome dude in the world bro if you carry yourself like a weak loser then she ain't gonna give you the time of day she's gonna put you right in that friend zone because why would she want to be with a weak man that's not even masculine that don't work on himself you watching this video i'm literally describing you right now word for word bar for bar bro dead ass you haven't been to the gym in weeks maybe even months bruh you don't, you got love handles, bro, and you expected this chick to respond to you, bro. Are you serious, man? If you want a chick to respond to you, how about you start responding to your body's needs first? Respond to yourself first, man. Go hit the gym and get big. Lose weight. How about you actually have some game and some confidence around women, bro? Stop being so scared of them, bro. You got to understand. Women are not as strong as men physically, bro. So you ain't no physical threat. She ain't going to beat you up. What you scared of? What you scared of a woman for? What you nervous around her for, bro? That's a human being. She's a human being, bro. She, just, she got all the same fears and insecurities as you. She just as scared as you of you as, as you are scared of her. The only difference is that women understand their role in dating. Women understand that guys literally thirst for them. So they have an ego. So they act like every dude that look at her want to date her. And you just falling right into that category. Because you ain't got no type of game, no type of riz. The way that you carry yourself is weak. These are the real reasons why you getting left on deliver, bro. It's not about what pickup line you use. Cam, what? well, maybe it was because... The, the pickup line wasn't, or maybe it's because I said this, maybe because I said that. It's not because you said this or that, bro. Let me tell you something right now. Any dude, any or any woman that is attracted to a dude, it don't matter what you say first. It don't even matter what you text her first, bro. It really don't. It's, if you met her in person, bro, and she knows who you are and how you carry yourself and, and, and everything like that, what you look like, it don't matter what you say first. You can get away with anything, bro, because that... The, the fact that she's attracted to you covers up everything. But if you not, you know what I mean? If you if you coming at her with some weak, you know what I mean? You waited six months to ask her out and and you came up to her looking nervous. You cold approach. You just kind of, and you kind of a weak dude. You don't really work on yourself. You kind of not really dateable. You're not even dateable. And you go up to this woman, you expect her to respond to you, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, come on, dog. Let's just be realistic. Fellas, start being real with yourself, man.
I can literally tell, you can tell me a story right now and I'll tell you if you're gonna get left on deliberate, bro. Just based on the way that you act around this particular woman. And the way, and the reason that you act weird and nervous and anxious around this particular woman is because you are so uncomfortable around them because you haven't talked to them in the past. And because you are just a person that's not even comfortable with yourself. So if you can't even be comfortable with yourself, how can you be comfortable around somebody that you are attracted to? That's why you can't even get a girlfriend, bruh. So now when you get left on the liver, the biggest problem that dudes now encounter is not necessarily just being left on the liver, but it's the fact that you keep checking and checking and checking for a response, bruh. Like I said in the beginning of the video, she has already seen the message. She is choosing to ignore you because she doesn't like you. And at best, you will end up in the friend zone, if not permanently ignored or blocked, okay? So you keep checking and checking and checking. You thinking to yourself, should I send another text? Maybe she didn't see it. You giving her all the benefit of the doubt without her saying a single word. Why are you giving her that much power over you, dog? You see what I'm saying, man? So what you need to do is look down at your drawers, and if you got some testicles, gather up some damn masculinity, gather up your balls, bro, and say, you know what? I'm not going to allow myself to stoop to this level. I'm not going to allow myself to, to, to be played by and made fun of by this chick who don't even want nothing to do with me. I'm not going to look like Boo Boo the Fool by double texting this chick, bro. I'm going to actually have some self-respect and I'm going to keep it pushing and take that loss because I know it's literally millions, billions of other women out here that might want me. That's the problem. You don't rock with girls that want you. You want the girl that don't want nothing to do with you, bruh. And to be honest, nine times out of 10, she don't want nothing to do with you because you ain't done nothing with yourself. You ain't self-improved enough. You ain't got the money. You ain't got the funds. You ain't got the look. You ain't got the swag. None of it, bruh. You see what I'm saying, man? So if you get left undelivered, keep it pushing. And I'm dead ass. And none of y'all. And the reason I'm stressing it is because a lot of y'all do not take my advice. And then you end up looking like Boo Boo the fool, bro. Don't allow yourself to become a clown, bro. Keep it pushing. In fact, that might even reattract her. It's possible that it might even reattract her because she's now. Exp you gotta understand how dating is today, bro. She's expecting dudes to double text. She's expecting that. That's the game. She's literally, she literally is leaving you on delivered and she's laughing with her homegirls right now at your text. Ha ha ha. Let's see if he double texts. Ha ha ha. Let's see how hard he wants to chase me. Ha ha ha. Let me, let me, when I see him at school, I'm going to tell him, I'll just keep applying the pressure. She's going to keep leading you on. She's going to tell you, keep applying pressure and maybe y'all, bro, she always going to give you that slither of hope. Let me tell you something about that slither of hope. Let it go. It don't exist. You ain't got no chance. Take the L, bruh. Damn, that's messed up. What if I want to talk to her? I really like her. I think she's the one. Let me tell you something, bruh. How is she going to be the one when she don't even like you back? You ever ask yourself that? How you going to find your soulmate? Oh, this is the one for me. She don't even like you back, bro. What's wrong with you? You chasing a chick that wants nothing to do with you. You are a loser. A simp. <laughs> Man, that's all I got for y'all today. I hope y'all learned something new. Love y'all. I'm out of here, man. God bless. Peace.